Hello everyone and welcome to Vibing Estate Gems. I am Lola G and I appreciate you being here. Today we have this big mama jama that we have to work through. Hopefully we can get through it all and it doesn't take 7,000 years because I know you guys don't want to watch. Ooh, ain't nobody got time for that for hours long video, although I could watch jewelry all day long. Um, this particular lot also came from Goodwill, although I'm really stoked that this weekend, hopefully, keep your fingers crossed for me guys, I'm going to be able to go out into the throngs of Pick Pickerville and go to an estate sale and find some great things. So this is necklace bracelet ring bulk. There was a sole reason that I bought this and I'm gonna show it to you and how these things can fool you but I think I remember that. I think that's what this one was. Okay, so pulling this out, the first thing we have is this. What is this? This is, it's a necklace and earring set. That looks like Bollywood. Look at that. Disco fever. Ooh, that's very exciting. Ooh, ooh. That would be pretty for prom. Okay, the moaning. That probably, I need to, yeah. Moving right along. <laughs> that was cringeworthy, guys. I know, right? Okay. And we have this piece. I already see what it is though. Ooh. So it's got like, it's, I think it's glass. Yeah. No. Yeah. And it's a choker in multicolored and it looks like faux a garnet and it's from 1928. Yes. Queens. We like 1928 around here in these parts. I sound like such a hick, don't I? I'm really not. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's dump the, oh, this came in a nice little bag. That will be repurposed. We have some Amber acrylic. It looks like an amber ring, but I don't think it is. But believe me, I will be testing it. It'll make me. It'll make me test it. Looks like cherry amber though. Uh, it is. Mm, is it signed? No. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. You tell me. No, it's not signed. What size is it? It is a seven and a half. Because that's what I <laughs> look at that stunner. Hello, darling. Hi, my name is Linda. I feel like if your name is Linda, you might be fancy. Yes. Fancy Nancy. That's my daughter-in-law's name, so I call her Fancy Nancy. I think she gets mad at me, but that's okay. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that, right? This is from the garden. Where's the garden? Like, the olive garden? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. Um, it's, oh, oh my goodness. Woodward and Lothorpe. John Watermaker. That's a lot of words, folks. Um, so this had been $8. I'm going to test these for Bakelite, though. No, I'm not, because they are metal. But they are very pretty, and they had been a dollar on sale, apparently, but they've never been worn. And they're probably circa 1980, for real. Button earrings were all the thing. Oh, then we have another big ring. I feel like this is like the eye of something. Horus or something. I have your eye. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I love it. It's like a big crystal here and it's all like enamel and then it's got things. That could do some damage, I feel like. It's like you put it on. Ooh, if I rub it, will I get a wish? I don't know. I'm wishing. I'm wishing you guys. Nothing is happening. Okay, yeah. It's a size six though. That's really pretty. Okay, then we have little kids acrylic ring. Really cute. I think acrylic things are really pretty. Maybe I'm a weirdo. Probably so. Don't, don't, don't answer that. Then we have something called Tree Line and Tide, handmade in, please don't make me say that place, Massachusetts. <laughs> and it's made out of wood. The, I love wood jewelry, by the way. I think wooden jewelry is so pretty. Wood and titanium earrings. All right. For every product we sell, a new tree is planted. Hey, I like a green product. You gotta go there. Some kind of green thing. They look like those things called rooster's cock rooster's comb or whatever and they're like live forever i think okay yeah you guys are like no lola just stop it you're too extra oh my goodness look at these baby dolls right here gold tone and this just fabulous firework acrylic really say what you're beautiful if these were had like silver tone on them they would i would be keeping them because <laughs> you guys know i love me some silver those still are just wow Extra pretty wow. These look like Bollywood. Ooh, and they're all encrusted with jewels. These particular earrings. Ooh, I love them so much. And they have the um, French wire. Earrings. Lovely. Lovely. So if you're in the mood for an earring, these are lovely. Lovely. You should get them for yourself. 
okay? Be sure and like and follow for more videos coming your way. I know, you're like, stop it, stop it. Oh, that's extra. That's a nice little ring. It's like plastic and, and interesting. I don't know, it's kind of brown and ambery looking, nice. Oh my goodness, I see some adorable little hummingbirds. These are copper, I feel like. Yeah, because they're on a copper wire and I've seen these before and I can't remember the name, but they're in excellent condition and they are hummingbirds. My hummingbirds will become, well, they're not particularly mine, they're wild hummingbirds, you know. Uh, but I put hummingbird feeders out and I have so many that come and they're kind of not a nice little bird. So listen, just because you like them doesn't mean they're nice, okay? <laughs> they kind of are hateful with one another. And if you go out and mess with their food source, sir, oh my gosh, I can't speak English. Their food source, they like flap in your face. They scared my son one day. I was like, go out there and get those hummingbird feeders so that I can replenish them. And he's like, okay, but he's deathly afraid of bees, right? Do you have kids that are afraid of bees? And I said, but know this, they're gonna dive bomb you and they're gonna be buzzing and humming the whole time. And he's like, okay. So he goes out and then, the, and then he's like, oh, bees. And I said, what did I just tell you? <laughs> what did I just say, child? You said they were hummingbirds that are gonna die in my head. That's right. And that's what happened. So that's what that is, hummingbirds. Purple, darling, gorgeous hummingbirds. Oh, and there's some like little round, just gold tone button earrings, very charming. And then we have these kind of brass wire. These are some kind of natural stone. They almost, almost look like Moldavite. You, isn't that the most disgusting name for a, for a lovely gemstone? You guys know I love gemstones. This is a gemstone, Moldavite. It sounds so disgusting. It could be turquoise, no, Moldavite. I don't know what it is. It could be Moldavite though. So now I'm gonna pull out this big pink thing because I don't know what it is and I'm dying to know because I haven't looked at this. It's all entangled with something else. Ooh, my goodness. This is turquoise slices, I wanna say. Is it howlite though? Is it white in the center? No, I think it's howlite, but it, wow, look at that though. Can you imagine that? It's all natural and flat slices of stone. I think this was handmade. And then we have a bronze uh, toggle up here that clips your stuff on. Oh, that is really pretty. Probably 18 inches and it's super heavy choker type thing. Love it. Yes. Keep going. Keep going, queens. All right, let's push that out there. Look at all these fun things. This, I have to talk about this because I want to know what this is. I want to know what this is. And I want you to show me. It's like Pac-Man. Okay. This is a choker where you can put one of your nice big giant, you know, pendants on from Mexico probably because I have tons of them. And you, but it'd have to be sterling for me because I don't put my Mexican pendants on gold. I put them on sterling because I want you to know Mexico is the number one exporter of silver. You need to know that. All right, so where is this? Golly day, I don't know. It doesn't have a name, but it's really pretty. It's probably brass. That's pretty. Choker, yes. And this is, oh, I, I thought it was going to be magnetic. <laughs> I'm all trying to pull it apart. It's just a little stretch choker. Um, I feel like you could wear it on your head though, you know, like a headband. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a headband. Yes, queens. I'm going to put that right on my head. If you saw me right now, I totally have that on my head. I'm not kidding. No, I don't. I don't want to stretch it out. It's a choker. Probably for a child. I don't know. And this looks like copper. Yeah, it is. This is copper. And what does it say? Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite sayings for real. I think it was made for me as I jump it back and forth. And you're like, stop it. She believed she could, so she did. I love that, that's so cool. Yes, and copper, and copper's supposed to help with arthritis, so I just need to like have a suit of armor made of copper, and then maybe I would be fabulous then. Oh my goodness, and then we have some little stretch, um, but in really good condition, some little stretch charm bracelets that are quite nice. Ooh, listen to the noise, that would, that would charm you, would it not? Very nice. And then we have something else. Oh, it just clicked. It clicked, kids. Guess what? This goes with this. So this is Leah Sophia. Ooh, score, Leah Sophia. So this is a Leah Sophia pendant. Look at that. 
Is that not stunning and gorgeous? Yes. Now I'm gonna put it on here. We're gonna string it, and then I'm gonna turn it around. Okay. And then I'm gonna, so I put it on backwards, right out of the just right out of the box. Put it on backwards, Lola. That's how you roll. And then I put it on. No, I didn't. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that fun, Hamulus? That is not just fantastic. It's not just fabulous. It's fantabulous. It's just screaming luxury, isn't it? Wow. Who doesn't want to rock? Not me. I don't. I'm not a diamond person. I like that though. Let's look at it again. Ugh, uh, okay. Enough of that. Let's see what this is. So then here we have some dyed shell, which is really pretty. Some really pretty dyed mother of pearl shell necklace that's layered. Nice. Very nice. Also nice. And that's just a wood, little wooden bracelet that will go in a lot. And then we have this. Ooh, this I like. This is um, a bypass bracelet, but it's also hinged, a hinged bangle. The fact that it has patina on it is interesting. I'll have to clean it up and see. I'm thinking it isn't silver. I'm thinking it might be a uh, pewter. So sometimes when you clean these things up and you start pulling that patina off, numbers and so on start coming out. So we'll definitely be cleaning that up and seeing what that is. It could be nickel silver too. Nickel silver gets a patina on it and it has nothing to do with silver. So then we have this. She said, ha ha ha, this is cool. Wow, so these are real pearls. And then it has this big bead. This must be something that was handmade. This big giant Moldavite bead here. <laughs> no, it's just a plastic bead. But then it has gemstones on it. And I feel like they're not adventuring. I feel like they're, they might be aquamarine because you can actually get raw aqua, but it isn't banded like that. Hmm, I don't know, I'm stumped. Uh, it might be, it might be topaz. I don't know. I'm, I'm really kind of stumped. Hmm. I don't know at all, kids. I know a lot, but I don't know at all. But I love the pearls. And there is knacker on the pearls. So they're the real deal. Nice. That's really, really, really pretty. Don't want to put it over there with the lot stuff, though. So far, we only have one thing for a lot, though. A lot of lots. Oh, and there's the Leah Sophia tag that came off of that, um... I think it came off of this actually. In fact, I'm sure that it did. Yeah, because those are, you can tell they go together, so that's good. Ooh, and then we have this. This is gorgeous. All these natural gemstones. Yeah, these are gemstones. It looks like rhodochrosite, but it's orange, and rhodochrosite typically is red. Um, it's not jasper. I wonder what it is. This looks like peanut wood though, peanut jasper. I don't know. This is a gemstone too, though, if you can see into it. Very nice. That is beautiful. And look at this, this, the jump ring. It's very unusual. It's vintage. Are you, are you ye without a name? Ye that shall remain nameless. I don't know, but that would be gorgeous on something. I don't know, some sweater or something. Ah, we found another thing that can go on a lot. Just a little hook bracelet. And, um. Pretty though, it's purple, that'll go a lot. And then we have this, which is clay beads. And um, that's really pretty though. Yeah, all the different colors of the rainbow, yes. And let's pull some more out here. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? So like I said, this was a bulk grouping of things that were five pounds on that was five pounds rather on uh, the Goodwill website and it was ring bulk. And sometimes it's hit or miss with that stuff. You know, you may look at it and think it's something fabulous and then you get it and it really isn't. And that's what happened, um, I think with me. And I had looked at this, what was I saying? I get, I'm getting so much right now that I don't know. So this says, it's my choice, Vashanavi Fancy Bindi, Fancy. So bindi, I think, is Indian, and you wear it on in the middle of your forehead or somewhere like that. Very cool. It's actually quite pretty. Very really pretty. Um, and then it tells you how to use it. Yeah, made in India. Awesome. That's really cool. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We have loci, loci, I don't know. Water from Mount Everest. No hungry kid. Mud from the Dead Sea. So we have water from Mount Everest, and we have mud from the Dead Sea. Hmm. 
Sometimes you're on top, stay humble. The white bead carries water from Mount Everest, the high point on earth. The black bead carries mud from the Dead Sea. I feel like if I opened it, there wouldn't be anything in it. <laughs> you know, I feel like it, it's kind of gimmicky, but uh, I know these were really popular a few years ago. I just don't know. It's a small, I don't know what it would be today. This is interesting. This looks almost like prayer beads, kind of a gay, Gaelic symbol, an Irish thing, cross or whatever. That cross is called something, and right now I can't think of it, but it is wooden. So I don't know what I'll be doing with that. And we have this, which is faux amethyst. It is plastic, but it's really pretty. I've got a tiger's eye in my shop right now that's got a shimmer on there like that. That bead is really shimmery. Um, that's pretty, but it doesn't, it doesn't have a name though. Um, no, it doesn't have a name. And then there's this, I'm, I'm, I'm sad about this. Um, because it's got some broken components, but this is beautiful. Uh, I think this bangle or this cuff is gorgeous, but it apparently was well loved and, uh, somebody really enjoyed wearing it and it will go in a lot now. And up oh, there's another one of these in yellow. So they come in, comes in several green and purple and yellow, I guess. And there's some more wooden beads. These are vintage because they've got, uh, ooh, that looks like dendritic opal right there. I think it's just a bead, a plastic bead and they're wooden. Some people like all natural jewelry though. And it's got a barrel clasp. It's really pretty, very nice shape. All of this is in great shape. Some more clay beads. This is a choker. It's in good condition. I lied, it isn't. So this is gonna go in a lot because it's actually damaged. All right, what else do we have? Wow, that's heavy. It's heavy, brother. Ooh, being heavy. This looks like one of those, what is it? Bracelets of the month. Every month there's a bracelet. Yeah, that's what it is. January. So there were a couple of makers that did this. One of them was one that you order out of a catalog and I can't think of it. And the other one was another name brand. And one was vastly more expensive than the other. They're really well made and they have these adorable little dachshunds on them. See, there's a dachshund right there. Dachshund. I have a part moxie dog. His name is Henry. My sister calls him Henri. He's horrible, you guys. He barks and acts crazy, I tell you what. Now, there is no horrible dog, in my opinion. I love dogs. Yeah, so this is one of the, let me take some of them out. You're like, I wanna see the bracelets. I'm just gonna not let you see them. Yeah, no, you can't. So we have, um, we have May, and May has flowers, and it says Happy Mother's Day on it, because that's what happens in May. And some of these beads actually say Sterling 95 on them which is vexing. But what I plan on doing is is testing many of the things here because I'm not buying it. <laughs> you might be selling it and I'm not buying it because I don't believe you that you're sterling. Maybe that particular bead is. Then we have November, Happy Thanksgiving with November. It says my pup and there's the dachshund again. And there's the little dachshund in his doghouse. It's just so cute, the little charm bracelets are. And then you go through up oh, St. Patty's Day and more dachshunds. And this one says happy Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's so cute. I could see a teacher having all these and wearing them. And that one's Christmassy and the Christmas dachshund is in there. What's this one? This one is January and he has a snowflake. Those are really, so you get it, the whole thing. And they're, um, they have, ooh, this one's extra pretty. I like this one. Oh, look at the big weenie dog. That's what we call them, weenie dog. Look at that. My weenie dog is wire haired, which it makes him itchy. He's just an itchy little guy. I feel bad for him. Henri, he is itchy. So that's, there's probably 12 of these, I would say. And I know they didn't live in there, did they? <laughs> Let's find the smallest receptacle that we can. There we go. Okay. So we got a bunch of those. Still not why I purchased a lot though. I really didn't know what those were. Oh, and then we have something from Talbot's, which is just a gold tone pearl, which is a really pretty nice lavalier. That's really pretty. Awesome. Some holiday jewelry. Yeah, that's pretty. Holiday-ish. Kind of like my bespangled table. 
be spangled. Oh, then we have something called Brit Shop Chile. Some copper earrings with, looks like a clay, a polymer clay bead. It might be a stone. Yeah, it feels like, looks like a clay bead though. It's really pretty though, I love those. I like copper jewelry. Ooh, they had been expensive. Nice. So we'll just keep on going here. Almost done with this particular grouping. Then we have just a plastic, you know, bangle. It doesn't say anything. It's just plastic. These are really pretty, though. These are cloisonne. I don't understand why people don't get into cloisonne more. I think it's gorgeous. I have a sterling silver cloisonne bangle that I am just in love with. It's also encrusted with lapis and I'm trying to all kinds of gemstones. This one is painted, of course, and but it has the it's, usually they're hand painted, and they're so well done, and they're really really super cold. So I wonder what kind of metal they are, and they're so cold. I'm like, is it painted jade? Who would do that, Nephrite? Who would do that? Do not paint the jade. Jade makes that noise though, like, you know, it's pretty though. And there's a set of two, so I will definitely be selling those. And then there's another one of these. This isn't a loci bead though, I don't think, or loci or whatever it is. It's just a little stretchy thing that a kid would get at an arcade, I think. Ooh, this isn't, what is this? This better not be ivory. What is this? It looks like bone. No, it better not be ivory. I'm gonna be really sad. No, it's bone. When you see the pitting, like the deep grooves in the pitting, then you know it isn't. There's no Schrager lines, and you know it isn't um, ivory. It's bone. Nice. Really pretty, though. In great shape. Uh, I probably will put it in a lot because I'm not a big fan. Although, you know, I've washed jewelry. I, would, I mean, I could totally clean these up, and it wouldn't be a problem. But it's just not nice enough, in my opinion. All right, so the, my main reason for bidding on this particular thing was because I saw this bangle. Now, I have sold something very similar to this, only it was a name brand, but the difference was when I saw this, it looks, it's a dead ringer for that other one, but look at what it does. It's a, which, and it's still really pretty. It stretches, so it's a stretch bangle. But what I thought it was, was Kenneth J. Lane. Kenneth J. Lane made a grouping of these type of, but they were uh, hinged bangles. They opened, they had Swarovski crystals in them apparently. And they came in various different colors. Now the one that I had was literally this color. Uh, and I was super excited because they're, they're, they command a nice price. Um, this one's jewel encrusted and apt. If you love elephants, it's just beautiful. It just isn't Kenneth J. Lane and believe me, I've looked all the way around. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed because of the price that I paid for the lot. Um, but that's okay. You know, you win some and you lose some. And that's the same way with picking when you go out to an estate sale, you get there and you think, uh, you just don't know with estate sales. You could go to a home that's super fancy, uh, in a very nice neighborhood and they have great prices. You could go to one like that and they don't. You could go to one that's in a not nice neighborhood and in your opinion, um, and it has horrible prices and you're like, really? And then you could go to one like that. It, I mean, you see what I'm saying? It, it, there's no continuity in price. It just depends on the person who's selling them. And family members play a role with that. And I'll be talking about estate sales at some point. Because believe me, I've been doing a lean of them. These are really pretty. If you're going to wear them all together, they're really, really pretty. I don't think these are sterling. No, but they're pretty. And then um, this, these two. Also, I saw these two um, particular bangles. And I thought that they were Bakelite. They are not. I didn't even have to test them because they're so lightweight. And when you do the click test, it goes click, click, click. Um, but I will bake and soda test them. And I happen to know that I just am pretty solid that they're not. It sure looks like it though. But this guy's super lightweight. It uh, looks like butterscotch uh, Bakelite. And I have kind of picked up Bakelite in things before. Uh, on occasion, but Bakelite is really saturated. The market is really saturated right now. Um, but these things will probably all go in a lot. But yeah, so that's me, guys. Be sure and follow and like, and I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos. And you can head to my, if you, the, any of these things you're excited about or you're interested in, you can send me an email at vibeinestategems at gmail.com or you can reach me on my eBay website. Um, 
through my eBay store and you can check out some of these things. They are not listed yet, just so you know, but they will be hopefully soon. All right, thanks so much guys and I hope you're having a really good day and I'll see you next time, bye.